If you're interested in stories with happy endings, you would be better off reading some other book. It's Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. The Bad Beginning was written by Lemony Snicket and illustrated by Brett Helquist and was published by Modern Classics. It is the first book in A Series of Unfortunate Events, of which there are 13 in total. Now, this book doesn't have many pictures, so I'm going to show shots from the movie. Uh, please read the book before you see the movie. It is about the three Baudelaire children, Violet, Klaus and Sonny. Every day the children live happy lives with their parents in their large old home. One day their parents are killed in a fire and their home is destroyed. They go to live with their uncle, Count Olaf. Unfortunately the Count is a cruel man and tries to kill the children in order to get the money they will receive when they are adults. The question is, can they survive their uncle's horrible plans? The Bad Beginning is a chapter book aimed at older primary students or secondary because it is very dark. As it says on page one, in this book not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning and very few happy things in the middle. This is absolutely true. This book is full of darkness, sadness, and hopelessness. Some people like this kind of black comedy, which is where the jokes are about things that are sad or horrible, and they would enjoy this book a lot. Other people might want something a bit more cheerful. The Bad Beginning is an exciting adventure book as the Baudelaire children try to escape from their uncle's terrible plans. It is full of weird characters who do despicable things. I definitely enjoyed it, but I would only recommend it to someone who likes black comedy. The English is not too hard, but with so few pictures you will need to read carefully to follow the story. Here are my ratings. Here's an extract. Chapter 7 There are many, many types of books in the world, which makes good sense because there are many, many types of people, and everybody wants to read something different. For instance, people who hate stories in which terrible things happen to small children should put this book down immediately. But one type of book that practically no one likes to read is a book about the law. Books about the law are notorious for being very long, very dull, and very difficult to read. This is one reason why many lawyers make heaps of money. The money is an incentive. The word incentive here means an offered reward to persuade you to do something you don't want to do to read long, dull, and difficult books. The Baudelaire children had a slightly different incentive for reading these books, of course. Their incentive was not heaps of money, but preventing Count Olaf from doing something horrible to them in order to get heaps of money. But even with this incentive, getting through the law books in Justice Strauss's private library was a very, very, very hard task. Goodness, Justice Strauss said when she came into the library and saw what they were reading. She had let them in the house but immediately went into the backyard to do her gardening, leaving the Baudelaire orphans alone in her glorious library. I thought you were interested in mechanical engineering, animals of North America and teeth. Are you sure you want to read these enormous law books? Even I don't like reading them and I work in law. Yes, Violet lied. I find them very interesting, Justice Strauss. So do I, Klaus said. Violet and I are considering a career in law, so we are fascinated by these books. Well, 
Justice Strauss said. Sunny can't possibly be interested. Maybe she'd like to come help me with the gardening. Whippy! Sunny shrieked, which meant I'd much prefer gardening to sitting around watching my siblings struggle through law books. Well, make sure she doesn't eat any dirt, Klaus said, bringing Sunny over to the judge. Of course, said Justice Strauss. We wouldn't want her to be sick for the big performance. Violet and Klaus exchanged a look. Are you excited about the play? Violet asked hesitantly. Justice Strauss's face lit up. Oh yes, she said. I've always wanted to perform on stage ever since I was a little girl. And now Count Olaf has given me the opportunity to live my lifelong dream. Aren't you thrilled to be part of the theatre? I guess so, Violet said. Of course you are, Justice Strauss said, stars in her eyes and sunny in her hands. She left the library and Klaus and Violet looked at each other and sighed. She's stage struck, Klaus said. She won't believe that Count Olaf is up to something, no matter what.